I'm here with Canadian uh, award-winning artist Tina Newlove and um, very excited. I um, commissioned Tina recently to paint two paintings um, for our latest album with the Trevor Dick Band. Uh, it's called He Died, He Rose and it's an Easter album um, exploring uh, the themes of death and resurrection. Um, initially in the death and resurrection of Jesus, but also the universal themes of death and resurrection in two uh, beautiful oil paintings. And they're here, and I haven't seen them. They're wrapped up. And I don't know. Okay, so we're yeah. going to so start I'm working gonna, on that. Yeah, let's both start. I guess we both get one, or should we do one okay. at a time? Well, this one uh, do this? I labeled is that he died. So this is the okay. darker, darker piece uh, in coloring and moods and everything. So let's see here. Now, do you want the, it's also wrapped on the inside here, but you haven't seen it yet, so you wanna take it here. Oh my goodness, is that the, is this the right way around? Yep, yeah, we've got that. Let me get this off so you can see it. Wow. There we go. Right. Wow. So that's he died. Mm -hmm. Do you want to open them both together? Yeah, or, maybe if you open them both, we'll talk you can see the, the lines sort of crisscrossing. So let's um, just a shot for the camera okay. here. That's he died. <laughs> wow. The colors are so rich and vivid. layers and uh, <laughs> yeah and th with the uh, first washes and the, the, the coloring kind of with the themes so yeah, yeah. wow so um, I think the camera would be he died he rose I think is the order we'll put them in when we actually right. display them but yeah. let's just before we we do this and talk about the process you went through Tina let's just talk a little bit of our history because we yeah. go a way back yeah. Uh, with my Christmas album, I, right. I found out about you. I can't even remember how, but somebody told me just yeah. about that you do live performance painting. And so, and, yeah. And then from there, um, we did the tour, I think, kind of out Ottawa way and then out West Coast. All and, the way to uh, BC. Yeah. And then... Um, was that the Yahweh album after that? Yeah, and then yeah. after that, um, I commissioned you to actually paint the cover painting of Yahweh, yeah. which was uh, a depiction of God, uh, the eternal nature of God, which is pretty hard. Uh, it was very abstract. Pretty, pretty abstract and hard to yeah. kind of capture <laughs> so. everything that God is. Yes. And I guess we kept that... Uh, that that theme going around capturing hard you know hard things cause... that's right well yeah so this theme again you know i sort of was thinking of um a series i did called hope um a few years back when i started with he died um because of the the darkness um and wanting that the light to kind of pierce in through the darkness um so we were looking at things of um you know, the journey and uh, um, how, yeah, just how intense the emotions and, and things around that time when um, we're talking about the Easter themes and things. So, uh, yeah, it was just sort of picking up on, um, I guess, sort of the, 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 you know, the line coming through here is sort of that, the steps you're taking um, in, in a yeah. dark place, yeah. And then some of these brighter lights coming, coming through um, are echoing from the heroes painting uh, in into into that they, piece they as they well. run into each other, right? They do a bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can see that there, um, yeah. And then I just wanted those bright, uh, bright 
colors and movement um, for heroes and the di dynamic kind of uh, feel of, of going out and just, uh, you know, sharing the news and just rebirth and life uh, with all these bright yellows and things. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So in terms of, let's dig down a little bit deeper in terms of process. So mm -hmm. I remember I, way back when we were recording the initial bed tracks, I sent you yeah. uh, some things. So let's just talk about right from when you got the first piece of music and you're thinking about these things right through to the final product. What were some of the steps you took? Yeah, and so um, <clears throat> with the music, which was so inspiring, um, I did some watercolor sketches and that's sort of just working out more composition and um, how they are going to connect and the color color themes and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, yeah, the initial washes, uh, I, I did both pieces um, to the music. So I have the music playing, so it's almost like the live painting we did together where I'm just laying down the washes and I have the ideas already from the watercolors in my head, but I just want to see what would happen as I start it and let that sort of intuitive uh, process happen as I do with the, the live painting. So then with the music, I just, uh, you know, laid down the different colors and the washes uh, and lines, and then the oil paintings on wood. So you have to give it a bit of time, which is also a good time to sort of let it settle and I can see what's happening. And then you're adding in layer upon layer after that mm -hmm. um, and really sort of developing. There's still uh, quite a few figures sort of hidden in and around, um, which happens with my work all the time. Yeah, I mean, that's part well. of your style, isn't it? it? Is, I mean, I see yeah. some houses here. I see some people, some little figures down here. Yeah, I just really wanted there some sort of dancing figures as well, just the joy um, and exuberance and dynamic. Dynam I can't even say the word right now. <laughs> Dynamic kind of uh, feeling. That almost so. looks like an angel here. Like, yeah, so like that could be just sort of, of sort. A overlooking or over, yeah. Um, or even sort of a, a commission kind of going going out. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, that is the last song on the album, The Great Commission. Right. So, so, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that does work. Yeah. 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 And a flower here? Is that a, li yeah, a lily? Think, um, or Well, just the flowers and even a bird sort of, in my mind, kind of uh, just the idea of peace and, yeah, that rebirth and growth. Spring. Um, and spring, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all those things there, so. Hmm. Yeah. What are the differences between painting, um, I mean, you, you referenced it's oil, so mm -hmm. it's a much slower process, but how about also oil with wood panel? I mean, this is a real old world style yeah. of painting, like some of the greats. Yeah, these are uh, birch birch panels, um, <clears throat> and uh, the, I just, I really love the wood. Um, you know, it was a living thing, and it still just has that feeling to it when I'm working on it. Um, and just as a surface itself, especially with oil paint, it's the paint just goes on so so smoothly and uh yeah i just love the the layering in, in that sense too just working with it so yeah yeah amazing i want to just look at uh this one again too anything else you want to share yeah, anything well, that just, the, um, the viewers would like to know about just yeah, in my mind, it really was, it, this one's a bit more uh, landscapey with the um, kind of background and uh, roads kind of that you're following almost uh, into the into the further background. Um, and really just does with look landscapey. The, yeah. Is this, does this represent, like it almost looks like a... Uh, sort of like a tree yeah. um, in here too. Um, and... Uh, but I just, I also felt like uh, the heaviness of loneliness in the, that dark of night journey uh, is what I was trying to capture there. Um, and sort of the, the swirling um, sense of things as you're trying to make your way out of the darkness and getting those little glimpses of light. So, yeah. And then, yeah, I think things sort of pop out here and there too as you take the time, 
There is um, a bit of a figure on this side as well, underneath the tree almost, but it's it's sort of there and isn't there, and um, yeah, just... Uh, I almost see like a crown of thorns or yeah. some, you know, just some Yeah, here some there. An even smaller size as well as those jaggedy lines um, in the house shapes and things as well, mimicking that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, it's amazing. Let's just put the two together again here. So that's the final. Yeah. That is the final product. I can't see it <laughs> right now. Let me see it this way. Uh, so let's turn it around. I just want to totally experience this. Um, so you would put the death on death and resurrection this way. Right? There you go. that one? Yep. Wow. Yeah, so you just sort of see some of these lines going into the next one and then coming back back and forth with the with that sort of flow yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean that line's coming up this direction yeah. too. And uh, yeah. what I what I love about how you you've done this is that even in the darkest place there is this a sense of hope. Mm -hmm. in the distance like there's almost like a a sunrise here like right. just it's it's a glimpse right yeah and you don't really see it until you put the two paintings together like right. the, these have to be displayed together yeah to truly capture kind of what's happening because as we know the story the story wasn't over you know you can be going through uh a dark valley of death but there is hope there is hope mm -hmm. And you can see over here the sunrise, uh, you know, and all the roads, the, the direct, the, yeah, the lines leading. Out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I just love that. Yeah. Well, I'm thrilled, Tina. I'm just yeah. like, uh, yeah, this is uh, very, very special. Well, yes, yeah, so and thank you uh, again just for that wonderful opportunity to sort of delve into these themes as well. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I know that um, in many ways, I mean, this was a very tough journey for me, me personally. <laughs> you know, I, I uh, really severely herniated uh, one of my discs, my L5 S1 uh, disc, and, and couldn't walk for about uh, three weeks and was nursed by my wife Leanne back to health. And, and uh, so, and and some of our band members have gone through tough times. I just did get this album done was just the the, the hardest thing I've ever gone through in my life. It's yeah. pretty much tells the story. The, yeah. the paintings tell the story what we've gone through ourselves. Right. And uh, so, anyway, so everybody, this will be the. Um, I'm just gonna put these back up here. This will be the artwork of of the album. So the, the front cover of He Died will be this, and this one will be He Rose. And um, absolutely incredible to, uh, to be able to partner with Tina New Newlove on this and um, just bring the beauty of all these art forms together. And um, I hope you'll be able to join us as well when we do some of these concerts, you know, right. if you're available on your schedule to be able to continue to depict these themes live in some of your mm -hmm. live performance paintings. Yeah. And um, yeah, this is just a very, very special thing. And um, just want to thank everybody for watching. And um, I just thought um, it would be important to include everybody in on the process that we've been going through on this album, from the artwork right through to the final product. So that's great. Thanks again. Yeah, thank really, you. Really, really appreciate you. That's great. And uh, God bless you. <laughs>